Your Ladyship, Madam Chief Justice, Deputy Chief Justice and Associate Justice of Supreme Court, I wish to respond to uh, three very quick issues that were raised uh, by my learned colleague, uh, Ms. Julie Soweto. The first one relates to a form that was uh, shown this court. I will, uh, I will want the form to be projected. We will. I, I, we are, whatever that was projected from the portal, that is what we, we want the court to see. What Ms. Julie Soweto showed. Uh, you could go, please go to Jose Camargo. I want to produce to the court the original form 34A. Yes, you can see. It's okay. You can. I, I want to produce the form 34A, the original form 34A, and I want to inform the court that, that the name Jose Camargo on that form is an overlay. Jose Camargo, the register of the QR code, the register of the QR code that was printed, was printed by Smartmatic International, and it was printed in the name of Jose Camargo. You can show? The, 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 the register is available. We were very patient the way Mr. Mohammed addressed the court earlier. Very, very persuasive. But for good order and not to interfere with his submissions, we kept quiet. And if you look back at the record, a lot of what Mr. Mahat was saying was actually giving evidence. He was talking using the word we, this is how we do it. The trajectory which he is taking without a witness to tell us the kind of information he's going to give us is going to put the court in a very difficult position. I think he should transform himself to a witness and we begin to cross-examine him. Because, because, and this is very serious, either we practice law the way we understand the law, or anybody can confront the court with any document at any time. I understood Mrs. Soweto to be giving an explanation in response to a question by the court. And similarly, Mr. Mohammed was responding to question by the court. And therefore he had some latitude. But now we are entering a different universe where he is now going to produce evidence. He is saying how the picture was taken. There is no certificate. And this is electronic evidence accompanied by an original. I think it is very, very dangerous territory. And unless some clarity is given on this matter, it is going to be very difficult to operate from now. My lords, what we are trying to do is to show you documents in our own affidavits in response to documents produced from the bar. Ms. Soweto, Ms. Soweto never produced the document she showed you in any of her affidavits. When we now invite you to look at the original and to make the argument that my learned friend is about to make, that there is a deliberate misrepresentation of what the original document looked like. So we are treated to this attempt to block that fact from the court. This is not a legitimate objection. This is an attempt to interfere with legitimate evidence that is on record. Okay. Uh, let's, let's give it directions because we'll be here until tomorrow and we don't have this time. Uh, senior counsel. Yeah, just one point. And, and I'm normally very quiet. Very quiet. And I continue to be very quiet. <laughs> but the good professor has misunderstood Ms. Soweto completely. It, was not the, it is not this document which is in question. It is the way the interference is being done. How, it is, how this document 
is changed to another document twice or thrice, three times. I think the good professor will be doing a good, a good service to the court. And if he is good coming to court with clean hands, he should first of all say, Mrs. Soweto, what Mrs. Soweto showed us today is not in their portal. That is the starting point. Isn't that exactly yeah. what Mr. That, that is, that Please is the starting point. bear with us, uh, Senior Counsel. We've come thus far with a lot of uh, discipline and dignity and the respect to the court. The reason why we are here, and you saw us take a lot of time to reflect on the application that was made uh, by, I think he started with uh, Mr. Katwa, Keegan, uh, Mr. Kirago, and Mr. Ngatia. We resisted until we established from the pleadings that we have that these are new forms. And indeed, they are entitled to respond to them. So please, if you can just respond without taking us into anything else, just respond to those new forms because they were not part of the ones that we have before us. We established that. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Madam Chief Justice and, and members of the court. Uh, we, the, the difficulty we were facing uh, in thinking about this, an allegation has been made as it relates to this form. And there's an overlay of someone called Mr. Jose Camargo. What we were trying to show the court that this is an overlay document. And we wanted to actually show the court where this document from Jose Camargo has come from. The document relating to Jose Camargo has come from the QR register, which is distributed to every polling station. And that document is even in the possession of this court. If you look at the scrutiny report, the QR documents are there. So what happened? A PO took an original form 34A. He had the QR register, and he took a picture of it. What is the evidence that is being given in this court that someone called Jose Camargo is interfering with this? And the point we want to make to this court is that if you look at the scrutiny report and if you look at the QR register, which is in those boxes, you will actually find the name of Jose Camargo on the register that has been printed. We've also produced the original form 34A. We've come with the receipt. And we're being told that you cannot produce your original 34A that Jose Camargo was interfered. And in fact, if you look at the numbers on the original 34A, it's the same as what the picture of the overlay was taken. So to the question that someone called Jose Camargo was interfering with the portal, it's actually not true. It's incorrect. And the, and the attempt to prevent that evidence to the court is actually, should actually make, guide the court that actually that is not true. If, why would anyone try to interfere with a, a portal transmitting and the result he has is the same as what's, what is in the A, and what is in the portal. So to that question, we, we submit that that is not true, and that is an overlay that someone who has taken the picture, we will give the, the court the, the form 34A to compare uh, with the original 34A with the certified copy that the court has. And in fact, we direct the court to the scrutiny uh, documents. That register of opening and closing the KIM is there, and the name of Jose Camargo for purposes of audit trail is printed in there, Smartmatic, Jose Camargo is printed there. So what has happened? Someone appealed, took a picture on that one. The next point I want to make is the issue of the Kims. Uh, we've been told there are two Kims kit, uh, which had uh, the same uh, serial number. And we understood our role to this court to give what, all the information to the court to make a decision. We admit that those Kims have the same serial number. It was an error that originated at the time of the, of the serialization. But we want to tell the court that Kims, those Kims have different IMA. They have different uh, IP addresses. They have different polling stations. They have different, so they have very different identifiers. And we acknowledge that. That is an error that originated relating to those two schemes. But there are other identifiers that can identify those schemes are from, from our system. And we want to give that information to the court for purposes. Those schemes are on their way to this court. We will give to the registrar of the court for the court to analyze and to look at it. And if you look at those schemes, they transmitted the, the forms as required in the portal, and the A's also are coming, the original A's, we will also give for those three forms. And our, our role is to give. The issue of transmission has come up. I just want to say this. There were three uh, 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 
Türkiye'de.